All right, so let's go to this guy's story, uh, Davido's, Davido's cousin. Let's talk about this, okay? Has to do with marriage, so I definitely needed to make sure that I covered this. Uh, Davido's cousin, uh, Shina Rambo. Davido is uh, Nigerian's one of top three rock stars. One of his sidekicks. One of one of his says, "Oh, Africans, we suck our teeth too." Don't mind me. I know, but I always blame it on Caribbeans. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, let's see. Gracious greatness says, "Oh God, we gotta get you a variety of ads." Hey, let's get to it. Let's get to it. But I want that music to be ringing in your head when you are asleep. First, uh, I need that. I need that to be. I need that. I need to drive that in where we're first, and then you know we'll create some varieties. You know, uh, Temilade Alamudun, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, D Love loves it. She loves it. Gracious greatness. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but yeah, we need to make us love it more. They are us and we are them, all the same, all the same. So let's talk about Shina Rambo's, uh, Shina Rambo. Not the Shina Rambo that some of us, if you're old enough, you know who Shina Rambo was. This is the one that named itself after Uli Adigun Jali. Shina Rambo, Davido's cousins. That's the one we're talking about, right? So he's married, yes. It seems like the quiet one of the fam. I thought so too, but he's married. Maybe that's why he married early too. He's that guy. He wanted to settle down. He got married. So let's look at the story. This is him. Is it quiet? It's, no, no. This is the brother. This is the quiet one, right? It's the quiet one. So Shinorambo accused of the of DV as marriage crashes. We gotta keep the scream. The, the scream. We gotta keep the scream um, clean. Nigerian singer Adishin Adeleke, popularly known as Shinorambo obviously cousin to davido has been accused of alleged dv by his wife Quoth. what kind of name is that where is she from let me see where is she from what is what what kind of people name themselves Quoth? on our instagram stories on monday accused shinarambo and his sister of violence as she shared videos chats and pictures to prove our claims Quoth added that the marriage was over as she refused to succumb to to misuse why she promised to share more proof of uh allegation she wrote adele case lol watch this space <laughs> that sounds that does look like hate for that family of the bat i'm just saying but let's see okay every evidence this is her and i quote every evidence shall be presented okay Every evidence shall be presented leaves somebody is that Levs Levis? Yeah, I don't anyway. Somebody who I just sent 10k Naira broke asses. Glee, I'm not an ass kisser and I, I will never be laugh my ass out. So ladies, if you got married into a family that's well known and they, they are known in society as top class you know elite right be self-aware okay this moment are going to happen okay these moments are going to happen and you're going to feel like you're kissing us you're not kissing us it's you it's most likely you could be kissing us but it's most likely you speaking it in your own head it's probably voices in your head telling you that these people are taking advantage of you they're choosing your all you have to do is speak up and say you don't want to tolerate it, right? But if they are outrightly oppressive, right? They're oppressing you as a person that came from some random family, right? Then you're collecting. That's what that is. So you know what you were marrying into, you know. You will need lots of wisdom to learn how to navigate that. See, at the end of the day, everyone cares about something. Even the hotel dollars, they care about something. If you can, quote unquote, speak to that not pander but speak to it from a place of power and value right you'll be fine but if you overreact you would only collect more last you will just collect more 
even worse because remember they're powerful so that's what i'm already sensing here right now the adele case people do it on very mild level too like they might even say they are guys on you know people that are not rich but basically they are intimidated by that family that's not where your power is your power is finding out what they care about and use it to bring value to them if you can do that now what i said is a little bit generic but just think about value is in the eyes of the beholder what is it that these people care about that's homework for you what is it that your mother-in-law cares about that's homework for you what is it that your in-laws care about that's homework for you so i should just be watching people know remember there's rewards there's rewards what is it that you're looking for oh i forgot to speak to that you're looking for something you're looking to get to okay so nobody, you're looking for someone to serve you too at the end of the day so you can sit around thinking it's gonna come for free right you will collect everyone cares about something take the time okay if you have the time if you're not in harm's way from a physical standpoint right take the time to understand the people you're dealing with because if you don't you will end up on social media and say the Adele case anyway I don't know the full story yet I just wanted to share that with you really quickly my mom and family are tired too oh I know them we know them the mom and family that don't know how to advise their children accordingly most don't if your family is like that you're normal most don't what they do is they defend their own right just naturally okay yes including you your family will defend you but they don't really know the full story they will help you collect be guided anyway abusive husband i will post more receipts coming soon so when people start posting receipts they're basically saying i've decided to move on it's a feeling you haven't decided that's just how you feel in that moment but you know social media is always monitoring spirit they want to hear you if you want to come and drag yourself and your family yes your family now because you're married they will help you welcome they welcome you with open arms of course right even reputable newspapers like vanguard will help, will welcome you with open arms if that's what you think is the next move to make granted you're dealing with something extremely frustrating so you can't wait to be heard by a few millions of monitoring spirits you can't wait be guided you collect i need a sound effect i'll say you go collect who talks to their wife like this when i'm busy trying to save my company they hijacked when my dad by okay so her dad passed away and so she must have been she thinks she's from a well of family too maybe she is right so let's look at the receipt that she posted okay so this is a screenshot of what she said earlier okay so that's what it ties emoji face that they typed as levy everything evidence shall be presented somebody who i just sent tanking naira broke asses i'm not an ass kiss and i will never be uh later they will say adeleke is my only achievement ladies there's this talking point out there is your marriage your achievement is your husband your achievement take listen i'm not giving you i'm not going to give you the answer okay take the time and assess the people asking you these questions just assess right where are they coming from sometimes they're trying to empower you so you don't feel like your sense of uh what do you call it sense of identity is attached to the name of the family you're married to but I want you to ask yourself a question is that really empowering you right is it empowering you because the truth that let me tell you something about men when i marry my wife yes that's an achievement okay yes my full chest that's a especially my wife give me all those beautiful children give me peace of course it's an it's an achievement what is the issue with marrying a husband being an achievement on the surface before we go too deep into this sense of identity right is there any issue with feeling like i married a beautiful husband who takes care of me can that be an achievement 
I'm married into a good marriage. Can that be an achievement? Without too focused on the labels, marriage, marriage is not an achievement. If you, if you leave that alone, leave the labels alone for a second. Let's just put any, let's put any, okay, husband, okay, boyfriend, girlfriend, well, so a relationship that serves you, that you feel good about, right? Would you consider that an achievement? Maybe. I'm not sure. Jemma Bin, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Let's be careful with the talking points. They are creating more damages than any good. I get it. The point is to empower, but is it creating empowerment or we're just creating talking points where we're just creating a, a toxic echo chamber? Because now she started to to uh, to to words of. Uh, uh, to opposite of words of affirmation for our own family, <laughs> right? Later they will say Adeleke is my only achievement. Laugh my ass out. She know, pay me my money. You owe me from America and Nigeria. Beg, beg. Men, how many people do you have to fight with over bills, or until they jack you for neck again, like it just happened? Them, I'm a governor. So we know. I know. That is, it has nothing to do with what she's talking about. She's in a very funky place in that marriage and she's refused, maybe rightfully so, to work on a marriage, which starts with working on self. Okay. It starts with working on self. What's the easiest thing to do? Oh, there's that money you owe me. Let me go to social media and tell everybody anything that will hurt your feelings. <laughs> Let me just go and hurt your feelings right now. Because at least I know about 20 people following me that will take this screenshot and post it to the world and shame the shit. You can't shame the shameless. <laughs> you can't, right? And him rushing me out the hospital because now I'm gonna. This is longer than I expected, but it's important, okay? There's a very important lesson here, okay? Shino is collecting Woto Woto, and dare I say he deserves it. And I'll show you why in a second, okay? I'll show you why in a second. Anyway, let's continue this. And him rushing me out of the hospital because he couldn't get no weed. Okay. He smokes weed. Let me guess. You knew he smoked weed. <laughs> he smoked weed before you got with or married him. Stop the cap. Me had COVID in labor. After my CS, I left the hospital. This nigga ain't help with no shores. <laughs> First of all, ladies. Anytime you complain of shorts, shorts is not the issue. Okay? It's not. Okay? I'm calling cap on that. There are deeper issues. And you need to address those. You need to find someone that will help you address those. Okay? Uh, in general, somebody helping you, your husband helping you can be an issue. Right? But, but when you narrow it down to shorts, it's become a talking point. That's not the issue. You're just not friends with your husband right now and you're not able to communicate you're having communication issues you, somebody has pride it could be him pride and unrealistic expectations and the marriage is breaking down because communication is breaking down this not shores the more you focus on the symptoms the worse it gets you're just messing with the wound and it will hurt more you're inviting flies all type of nastiness tetanus go enter it will destroy it for you. You need to go and treat the... You need antibiotics. And you need prescription. You need help. Professional help. It could be your simple pastor. Okay? It doesn't have to be something you pay for. It could be an elder in your family that you know is wise. If you can afford it, I prefer professionals. Okay? Because they can, they, they're not biased. There's no chances of being biased. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, three days after cesarean, you tell me to cook rice for you. He could, he might have done that, but I don't think that's the real issue. A, a lot of young men will do that without realizing because some ladies just don't speak up. Say, hey, um, you know, he doesn't realize that is an issue, right? But he should know you're right, but you should also communicate whatever you think somebody doesn't know. Uh, but clearly that's not working too, right? So it's not that simple, <laughs> right? It's not that simple but when all else fails you should use your mouth open your mouth and ask for help and don't assume that people should know there's a lot going on in any human being's life including yours and 
sometimes we're just oblivious to certain things okay sometimes it's just like that oblivious complacent we just can't see it there's so much going on right so if he asked you to cook rice the answer should have been like no you go cook your rice and laugh about it banter that's what you would do if you were in a good place but clearly there were other issues right mm -hmm. can't even make tea yourself shake my head during the pregnancy i was turned into a nanny she's narrating stories of at least two years now three years because the marriage has broken down during the pregnancy i was turned into a nanny nine months pregnant bending and cleaning house up and down because he can't even pick up after himself but truly venting this now all right let's see here i've been helpless helping myself when i have a husband who share who should be by myself should fantasy should who should be if he's not by your side and he's your husband babe i need help and then if he said i asked for help and he did the hang he said i'm a slave he locked me inside you know those extremes i won't speak to it but this right here i can picture what is going on there she was holding resentments in never spoke or probably terrible at communication and now she's blowing up all over the place to all of 20 million davidos davidos monitoring spirit because if you notice every news headline starts with davidos cousin yeah but to open mouth to insult and brag fake brag i'll be flowing like a river i cried when i saw these messages and these are just the very least more coming soon a person who is releasing all this news terrible news oh but she should she should have the right to release it that's that's her story she's telling her story would you do that if this was your sibling your brother your sister because worse happens between siblings you wouldn't why because family first right so what happened here oh because of marriage oh yeah marriage is actually a tighter and a longer term bond as a family than your siblings because your siblings will go and create their own family those are extended families now do you realize that making me look bad was pregnant lost my father never had time to mourn maybe that's part of the issues maybe you haven't maybe you're dealing with other hidden issues they took everything my father had Help me fight my fight. Okay, so are they like business partners between the families? And because there may be more to the story, but that's basically what I've been saying so far. There is more to the story. Don't tell us surface story, and and you know, and we have a platform called Man of Prestige. We know what's going on behind it. We know there's more going on behind the scenes. We might not know it, but there's always more going on behind the scenes after having this to say okay that's the part that we read already he doesn't even respect my mom and can, these are typical complaints when marriage is broken down they look for little little things that are existing for real for real but symptoms these are symptoms of the broken down foundation of the marriage right and then they start painting it and people that don't know any better say ah that's terrible it was this i knew it they will start saying things but i can see behind the scenes these are symptoms of terrible foundation in marriage even if it wasn't trying to be disrespectful to your mother if your mother your mother can collect stray bullets in the middle of your argument does that not happen of course it happens <laughs> right and now you're disrespectful to my mother no there was something else going on you need to tell the full story but granted you're not capable of telling the full story because self-diagnosis and self-medication will destroy you can't even provide financially for the house fridge was always empty but can always buy weed um you knew it was buying weed though you know you knew that at least you smell it at least okay you you smell weed you smell it hmm i don't know if this man smell you smell it right anyway here's why i think shina is collecting okay 
I'm going to leave the power Orishija for story alone. Let's just end with this. Here's what I think. Uh, okay. There's this story here on shout out to Insta Blog Niger. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, how do we get to this? Let's see. Wait, 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 where is it? Where is it? Okay. Oh, let me refresh. Let's refresh it. How do I get to that? I need that story. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Let's go find it on this subbug ninja. So there's a story. Apparently, he dragged his own in-law. Shino, Shino, Shino. Is this Shino? Yes, yeah, Shino Rambo, right? Yeah. The other one is called B Red. Yeah. Shinorambo dragged his own in-law before because he's been accused of re, uh, putting his hands on her, right? Here's the lesson. I already shared the number one lesson, right? Well, it's a lot. There's always something going on behind the scenes. We don't know the full story. It's the lesson. Um, the, the main lesson that I wanted to drag out of this story today is this one right here, okay? So, alleged DV... Shout out to Instablog Naija. Shinarambo's sister's baby daddy takes a swipe at him. Okay? The sister has a baby daddy. Took a swipe at him two years after the singer dragged him for allegedly, you know, uh, raising hands on his sister. It's alleged. I know all too well about this kind of story. When a sibling wants to ju jump, in and defend they're usually coming from a place of uh, overreaction they haven't taken the time to assess anything they might have heard one side of the story which is still true but some one person's experience okay and they overreact as well too what did what did Shinarambo do back then allegedly this is what he did okay uh, well this is what he did. I'll go. I'll go here. Let's go here. This is what he did. Shinarambo posted this. Uh, I don't know how long ago it was. Two years. Two years ago. It says, "This bitch gonna learn." This bitch gonna learn. Never touch my effing family. Women beater big ass nose is this guy's nose big it's kind of peculiar <laughs> he posted this on social media dragging the guy okay today the same guy said table shot turn table chat always turn god is involved what is the point i'm trying to make here if your siblings, if your sibling, your brother, your sister have accused their spouse of something, you don't know what you don't know. You would never know a lot. That's a default. Okay? That's that's just a default. So you must always come from a place of humility. Yes, you want to help your brother, your sister. The best thing you can do for them is to be a shoulder they can cry on. That's all. In fact, that's all you can do. And it's one of the best things you can actually do for people. Don't feel the need to judge. Just feel the need to be there for them. Because remember, they're caught up in their emotions as well. So they're narrating their experience. You can validate that by not turning it to some absolute religious truth. Because there's no such thing when two people are involved. He or she, your, your sibling, remembers their own experience. The other person remembers their own experience. If they accuse them of an extreme, the first thing to do is not go to the internet and drag that person. The first thing to do is to make sure they are safe. You remove them from that situation. At least for now. That's the safest thing you can do for them. Is it possible that your sister could be exaggerating yes it happens all the time yes is it possible that it's absolute truth yes but that's covered when you remove them physically for now before we assess what is going on right 
you remove them because there's been an accusation or somebody raised their hand so you must remove them make sure they're in a safe place first not take the time you're supposed to be using to save them to go to social media to be posting this kind of nonsense against your own family your in-law is your family they are the closest family to you and everybody else is now extended family they are kind of extended but the point is that they are now family too okay so it's no wonder why these guys say there are a lot of men that have to deal with i have to respect that's her experience i punched i punched the door men gentlemen never do that never bang the table never push stuff off the table never do that no but i pushed stuff off the table i didn't touch her i'm telling you don't do that okay when the, when you drag stuff off the table or you push stuff or you slam stuff on the floor that puts a woman on the defense she might just start remembering the worst of the worst okay rightfully so because i'm telling you you can't claim that you never heard this before remove grab your keys walk away that's always better that's always better okay this is another side of it if you are able if you are capable of dragging stuff off the table and pushing stuff you are capable of laying your hands on somebody if you get that angry that you will push stuff or, or, or punch a, a door you are capable of getting angry and blacking out and punching someone in their face that's why you must slow down when you run your mouth i could never be a wife it could be you if you can exercise a little anger where you throw this cup away because you're trying to make a point this called anger you can black out you're a human being right like the rest of us right so you can't be quick to judge instead help them get to safety right because it may just be a blown out of proportion story and if it's not at least you get them safety first right some people are extremely bad they are they are i don't want to use the word they are women beaters right and they end up in they need to end up in jail you need to escalate that once you make sure that's what happened right they need to be in jail they need to learn their lessons because clearly they don't realize that this is a real world as a man you will end up in jail for misbehaving like that right but the lesson here is that remember that's a man you could be accused too he just got accused by his wife because the wife showed a picture of a punch in the wall i don't think she's lying I don't think she's been beating up because she has time to post on social media but she's not lying about the punch in the wall like i said if you're able to punch in a wall you are capable of blacking out and committing the worst we can think of don't do that to you don't get don't ever get near that type of temperament it's not worth it your marriage is not worth your freedom i promise you it's not worth it don't punch a hole in the wall are you kidding me now they're gonna take picture that picture will never be deleted off of internet ever your reputation as a man is now on the line because you were stupid to not be listening to this on men of prestige once upon a time but yeah that's the lesson from that today all right let me just see what you all are talking about uh hey lady Navarre, good to see you good to see you let's let's do a quick not shino rambo it seems like the quiet one like a, it could be anybody that's why i don't judge men that have been through this the only thing i try to like seek help because if you're capable of getting that angry you need help and yes men can change and be better from that yes they can i'm not asking you to count on it okay <laughs> but they can people change you know but especially if they are aware enough to say yeah i, I did that before I, I need to i need to make sure that never happens again yes i've dragged stuff off the table before yes i've kicked something out of the way before because i was ang angrily speaking at my spouse don't do that you can kick something to hit this and that thing can tap and go and hit that person and before you know it somebody is deleted and now you're like telling stories don't do that don't do that don't ever get near that space at all Dan Grandma ID Quoth is her name. Yeah, what name is that? Is that Ausa name? What do you mean that? Variety is the spice of life. 
if you're watching this channel for a few hours then the transition ad would bring insanity to the uh after you've seen it 150 times thank you jerry no worry i will count on you we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spice it up absolutely we're gonna spice it up at some point mop salutes just hearing in the in a busy hello sir i'm here thank you i appreciate you lady navar thank you so much i appreciate you cool we have new toys i can send okay uh let's see hey yeah poor girl bro Ola. men should know the basic stuff now three days after surgery yeah like you said should fantasy that's not the fantasy men will need a lot of men are raised uh, in in traditional with traditional values which is not necessarily bad it just depends on who you are as a woman uh, but also more so the social construct right and, and a lot of them are waking up a lot of younger men are waking up but they're also setting too much expectations on that they think a woman will suddenly change to a man and, and, and be always logical if you can help our wash plates no 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 that's that was never the issues the issues are not that the issues are emotional intelligence at the end of the day and that varies from people to people to people so that involves active listening if if obviously somebody needs help with shores they need help with shores but always remember that a person who is operating from a traditional mindset, traditional value, always engage themselves with something too. It could be other issues that has to do with the family that you're completely disconnected from. So that doesn't mean they can't help you, but they may not just see what you think they should, the keyword should see. They may just not see it. So you need to express that so that, you know, when they want you their job, so we know, we know they tell stories later, you know so three days after surgery that's the story she's telling she's painting the picture you know she's just she's painting the picture okay uh it took me remember the the copy story that i was telling earlier i said a few days but i can't remember a normal human being can't remember exactly how, how many days the only thing they remember is how they feel so even if that's seven days even if that's 10 days or three months how she felt is what she remembers when she tells the stories you ladies still tend to take that and run with it as the factual truth when it can be far from the truth what i'm saying is that she could be telling the truth but we don't know she's painting she's telling a story she's painting a picture a terrible picture about our own family there's nothing normal going on there we can't take sides all i can tell gentlemen is that this will happen to you if you if you bang something off the table or something like that, she will go and, she, will, she will see a punch in the wall and assume it's you first before she finds out it's the sun don't put yourself in that position because people only remember what they experience and not the facts okay so i can't take that three days i understand ladies when you do that you're not abnormal but no that three days is not a factual truth it's a story that she's telling yes it's bad that's the point but you know what's worse what's worse is that she's coming out on social media and telling this story long after because of ten thousand error what about that part right so it's more to it. It's more to it. Yes, it's bad. Don't get me wrong. Nobody should go and misquote me. It's wrong that three days after surgery, you know, it just depends. There's so many things that will happen behind the scenes that that experience may not seem that way when it's actually happening, you know. And I can't speak too much to that. Uh, of course, Shinji said, that's freaking heartless. I gave birth to three of my kids via, yeah, my wife too, four times. <laughs> uh ladies will not be super humans always remember that always remember that it's terrible i feel for her if this is true yeah yeah uh, i will open my mouth and ask for help oh that's what i'm saying you know that and, and there's certain personalities that they already feel guilty now this is an empathy for her now they already feel guilty or they feel they'll be judged or they feel they're not being wife enough by asking for help no ask for help ask for help the oblivious thing is real we can't you can't see what you can't see even though you are seeing it physically there are other life things even the laziest person has something going on that occupies their mind the mind is never a vacuum there's something that's always occupying the mind so while you might think your spouse is supposed to see something should it's clearly not the reality 
create the reality you're looking for right now if you've opened your mouth and the person is still evil and now you can say but if you don't tell me that i asked but they still didn't help i am forced because i've seen so many cases i'm forced to say hey did you ask yeah you need to ask but you're supposed to know women you say this all the time you're supposed to know like oh, yeah you're right but it doesn't know it doesn't right we're looking to create a result here what is the result you're looking to create get help right at certain times i let you fantasize when you want to okay because we're humans we fantasize okay but sometimes those fantasies are creating damages and creating terrible outcomes for you. And I, my job is to point them out. Don't fantasize about what somebody should know. Realize quickly, sharply that they don't know. If they are that important in your life, educate, edify. Thank them for remembering later on. Be okay. Give them grace while they continue to get used to whatever it is this new thing is, right? And feel free to think they should know because it's your fantasy. You have the freedom. I'm just saying, be guided. Be guided, though. Uh -huh. uh, I agree that there's probably more to it. Yeah, there's always more to it. There's always more to it. That's a fact. Yeah. She's painting the picture of our experience. The experience is not the factual truth. It's just our experience. So if tomorrow if you come and ask her, but you said it was four days, three days. You said eh, three days, four days. Can you talk? And now you're guilty for not knowing that three and four days is not different. Exactly. So, <laughs> I'm learning that women feel like men should see something. Yes, that's very, 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 that's actually an epidemic. <laughs> All right. And you're normal. If you've ever felt that way as a woman, it's, most women feel that way. But you're a man of prestige. You need to know better. All right, that men should see something, but men are plain and might not even see what we feel they should know. We don't see. Oftentimes, we don't. It's very, very rarely is anybody just trying to be wicked, just evil. No, it's usually they just can't see it. It could be bad habits too. In which case, you should know that when you're in a marriage, you're gonna need to apply a lot of grace. Why? Because you require a lot of grace. Are you perfect? Are you a perfect somebody? Not even see what we should know. They, they're so oblivious to it because of how they are wired. Yes. The wiring is a real thing. <laughs> see? A lot of women can relate with this. Three or four days. Same difference exactly, right? But as a man, I'm like, dude, you said three days. And about 500 women already called me evil because three days after surgery, I let you wash plates. But that, that at least it was four days. <laughs> Men are like, no, but that number is important. And she's like, no, there's no difference. No, that number is important. And if you keep up with that argument, gentlemen, you will collect. Just let women be women. Get jelly, okay? You need to understand. Acquire wisdom. Suru laughing, shall covering. Acquire wisdom fast. Don't waste your time trying to prove that three equals to four is not equals to four. You will collect. Oh. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, okay? Almost three days, three months, same difference. Not to men, which is why I'm trying to disconnect them from that. Like, just put if you're if you're that logical, uh, emo, add emotional intelligence to it. Okay, if you claim to be that logical, add emotional. Understand that is the experience that people remember. All people, not even just women, all people, and especially women, so that you don't go and be collecting water water from about 20 million women or of the video followers would think that B Red Abikilo uh Shino Rambo is evil. But again, Shino Rambo need to slow down because a lot of men in this time and age they're very quick to defend a story that a woman is telling like they won't defend the story. Just be a shoulder to cry on. That's all you're needed for. Are you a professional? You don't need to be telling her what she needs to do or what she doesn't need to do. You need to be a you need to be there for her to hold her, hold her tight because she's just going through a bad experience. Obviously the experience is real. And then you have a word with your in-law, your 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 brother-in-law. Have a conversation. Like, what happened? With an open mind. But she said you lay his hands on her. 
I, I, a lot of men when that happens, they say, "I'm so sorry." That would never happen again. They will like because they 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 too they are like very afraid that that happened. They never realized they could do that. That's not an excuse, by the way, right? Especially if you're as a man, right? As opposed to jumping on social media to go, it will happen to you too. One day, if you are overreacting like that, it will happen to you. If you're a person, if you're a man that overreact like that, it will happen to you, and it will come usually as usual from a blind spot right so it's good that he's learning this lesson hopefully it won't do too much damages to him because now there's a picture of a punched wall attached to the name shina rambo that's floating around the internet and now he has to deal with that so gentlemen if you're listening to me this lesson is particularly for you okay Don't, don't even go near that space at all. First of all, you should never be in a toxic argument, heated argument with a woman. Ever, ever. The reason why I'm saying it is because I know you're going to do it. <laughs> I know you will do it, okay? But you should be avoiding it. Actively. Actively. Okay? Because you are probably coming from a place of argue, arguing the, the particulars of the conversation. Okay? But she's having an experience. She, there's like 200,000 Hollywood movies playing out. And you can't win. <laughs> you can't win. In fact, the more you do it, you're losing more. The best way to win is to actively listen. Don't be dismissive. Don't say, Allah of man of prestige say, I should never argue. And you just go and shut down somewhere. That's not what I said. You need to engage her with active listening. What is she trying to say? That makes you the leader. Okay, I hear you. Are you so you're saying this, saying this. Okay, I hear you, babe. Let's talk about that tomorrow. Let me process it. Right? If like, no, I must make her see what I'm seeing right now. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Not to discredit anybody, in diaspora, most of us got back to most routine post C session. There's no help over here. Yeah, that's part of it too. You know, that's why there's more to it, right? There's so much that's playing out. Like in my life right now, you guys can see me, I'm live with you. But do you realize that there's at least two seconds latency? That's like you're hearing me two seconds later. Do you realize there's other lives of myself, part of my life, my family that's going on right now, actively part of my life. There's always more to it. There's always more to it. So when people give you a story, they told you a story, say, oh, you can appreciate the story, but you should always remember there's more to it. 